Manchester United have sacked manager Louis van Gaal after just 15 months in the job. On Monday, there had been widespread speculation regarding Van Gaal's future with several national newspapers suggesting the club's owners had already made the decision to relieve the Dutchman of his duties. Manchester United gave official confirmation of the news this morning. Van Gaal had initially signed a three-year contract and will be due substantial compensation as a result of his sacking. Louis van Gaal has endured a torrid time as manager at Old Trafford after succeeding David Moyes who failed in the job before him. Borussia Dortmund's Jurgen Klopp and current Manchester United under-21's manager Curtis Seven are the bookies' favourite to take over the helm. With the season only a matter of days away, Manchester United will have to act quick in appointing their new man. And in breaking news, Curtis Seven has been appointed the new manager of Manchester United. Curtis was unveiled today at Old Trafford in front of the United faithful and he signed a two-year deal with United with the Premier League to get underway in just seven days' time. Curtis is set to have his first press conference at midday today and you can see that live and uninterrupted on MUTV. Get your questions in this evening. Here we go. James here from Sky Sports. Good night, James. What impact do you hope to make in your first season at Manchester United? Uh, first impact. Um, very good question, James. Uh, first season at United, the impact that I really want to make is that I want to teach the players the way, the style of football that I want to be played. I want to teach my philosophy to the players. Of course, I want to be winning matches and obviously winning the title and winning trophies, because that is what Manchester United do. But in saying that, I want to get through to my players most about the way that I really want to play. Fast, attacking, good brand of football, and uh, that's probably the most thing I want most as well. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Rick here from the BBC. G'day, Rick. How does it feel to be the manager of one of the biggest clubs in Europe? Well, how can I say? It's... Uh... It's a, it's a privilege, it's, um, you know, Manchester United's just, you know, it's, it's fair to say they're not one of the biggest clubs in the world, they are the biggest club in the world. G'day, Craig Bruce from Fox Sports. Uh, were you surprised that Manchester United hired somebody with very little experience? Um, not really, not really, because I feel that Manchester United... Um, when they're after someone, they will get the person and identify who they want, who they need, who they think is the best man for the job. So, yes, you, there is an argument that I might have a little bit of uh, little experience, but they believe in me, and I definitely believe in myself, and I definitely know that I am the man for the job, and Manchester United do too, because that's why they hired me. Uh, Harry here from ESPN. Are you happy with the signings that Manchester United have made in this transfer window? Um, this summer's transfer window, um, in my opinion, has been up and down. It's um, Yeah, I am happy. I, I'm not going to lie. You know, I think we've built uh, for the future. You know, there's players that I didn't really want to go that we let go, unfortunately. We did lose a lot of our experience, probably a little bit too much experience, in my opinion, from especially from the season before when we lost... Uh, Evra, Ferdinand, Vidic the season before. Now we're losing Robert Van Persie, Redmond Falcao, Di Maria, Nani, the likes of these players. You know, they, they were the heart and soul of Manchester United. But I am very happy because we're building the future too with uh, players like Damian, Man uh, Memphis and uh, Martial. Very happy with that. And uh, probably the most important thing was keeping David De Gea, making him stay. Not going to Madrid, and uh, he, he shows where he really wants to be. Staying at Manchester, signing a new four-year deal. So, squashing all the rumours that he wants to go to Madrid. That's just pure rubbish. He wants to be a Manchester United player. He is a Manchester United player. And I have to say, it's probably a very good um, transfer window, in my opinion. Okay, last question. Chris here from the Daily Mail. It's only a week before your first game in the Premier League. How do you feel your goal like? Well... Yeah, you're right. Only seven days until the big game against Tottenham. I know I've got a lot to uh, do in those seven days. Obviously, I've still got to 
you know, run training sessions, meet the players and talk to them. And uh, But I'm very confident. I know the club very, very well. Uh, I know a few players here and there. But I'm very confident that um, we can do a very, very good job up against Tottenham in seven days' time. Unfortunately, that's it for today, people. Uh, very busy, man. Got to go get to training now at Carrington. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. What's going on YouTube? Kurtz S7 here for FIFA 16, my Manchester United career mode. Now, as you've just seen in the press conference, we're here today. We have a limited time before we got the first game of the season. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into this bad boy together. If you like the video, if you like the different scenes, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want more FIFA 16 content. But without further ado, let's get stuck in. Now, as you can see, 15% increase. We're going to take that and the uh, tr a global transfer network as well for all the hard work we did in FIFA uh, 15. But anyways, of course, Manchester United is the team we're using. Now, the settings, this is really important because I want to show you guys the settings that I'm going to use for this career mode. Now, obviously, match difficulty is going to be on world class. Half length, uh, we're going to put that on five minutes just because it helps with the editing. Uh, financial strictness, we're just going to leave that. Currency, sterling, it's what they use in England. Of course, that's what Manchester United use, so that's what I'm going to use. Squads used, download the latest. Uh, European competition, first season window, we are going to uh, turn that on. A few moments later. So as you can see, I've put the real group that Manchester United are in the Champions League. So we've got PSV, Wolfsburg. Uh, obviously, us and CSKA Moscow uh, is the group that we're going to be playing in the Champions League, just like real life. Right, so when it comes to the transfer window, I want this career mode to be as realistic as possible. So that's why I'm going to actually disable the first transfer window. I'm going to turn that on right there because all, already the transfers have been made. So we're just going to keep it like that. But don't get me wrong, when January comes around, all hell is going to break loose. We're going to go nuts. And uh, if you want me to get a particular player, get the comment down below which player should I be looking at to purchase in January. Right, so here we go. Again, lads, keeping with the theme. Uh, like I've just got the job right now. So obviously I've missed out on preseason. So I'm actually going to decline uh, to participate in preseason tournaments. I want to get straight into the Premier League. But don't forget, next season, uh, I will 100% be going on tour with United and we will be doing a preseason tour then. So make sure you be on the lookout for that. But for now, we're just going to skip this one. Right, I'm liking this new look for Korea Mo Damian. Look at that Memphis right there. Compared Hates the signing. Oh, this is good. Anyways, lads, let's go and advance. Right, so we're going to email from the board, and they basically say that this season, the objective they want me to achieve is to qualify for the Champions Cup. So they want me to finish in the top four. So I'm pretty confident that we're going to go and do that this season. So looking at their team before we get to kick off against Tottenham. So this is the lineup I'm looking at here. It's a 4-3-3. Now we've got the pay on the left wing there. That's his natural position there. In Rooney up top. Top, which one matter on the right midfield. I'm not really too keen to play him there, but I think he can do a job there just like real life. Now in the middle, lads, I've got three players. Schweinsteiger, Schneiderlin, Herrera. That's going to be a tongue twister to say that. But anyways, lads, in defense, lads, we've got Luke Shaw, Daly Blind at center half. Just for now, because I want to make it realistic. He's doing a really good job there in real life, in my opinion. But anyways, Smalling at the back as well. And Damian right back. And of course, De Gea in goal starting. Anyways, as looking at the bench, we've got Martial there uh, with Carrick, Wilson, uh, Antonio Valencia, Rojo, Young, and Romero. Now, the players on the uh, reserves at the minute uh, are these players here, just in case you want to take a look at them. All right, lads. Here we go. First game of the season. Let's get stuck into it at home. Home to Tottenham and Old Trafford. Hello, Curtis. Jeff here from Sky Sports. Now, surely you must be nervous in your first Premier League game. We know you've had a limited time. Have you felt like you've done enough to get a result against Tottenham today? Yeah, like you said, I've definitely had limited time. Only seven days to uh, meet the boys and work on training regimes and uh, set pieces and that. But, uh, you know, I'm fairly confident today that we can uh, get a job done against Tottenham. But, uh, like you said, it is limited time and I'm going to need a lot more time than this. But, like I said, what we've done uh, and trained with during the week, I'm more than confident that today we should be getting three points out of this game. 
Now, just very quickly on Wayne Rooney, how's the last seven days been between you and him? Yeah, well, Wayne is a special player, definitely a leader amongst men, and uh, I can see why he's been made captain uh, for Manchester United previously, and he's captain for England too, so uh, definitely no changes there. I think uh, Wayne Rooney is a, a special player, he's got a lot of great characteristics, and uh, definitely staying captain uh, under, under me. Now... The question everyone's been waiting to hear. That lad from Monaco, everybody's raving about the youngster, Anthony Martial. Is he going to make an appearance today? Yeah, well, like you say, Anthony Martial come from Monaco and uh, he's been literally in the country for over two days, sleeping in a hotel. So it would be unfair on the lad uh, to give him a starting role in such a big game against Tottenham on the opening day of the season. But I can confirm that he is amongst the bench today and uh, depending how the game works out, how it plans out, that we could see Anthony Martial make an appearance off the bench. We're just going to have to wait and see that one. Thanks for chatting with us today, Curtis. Muchly appreciated, and good luck in your first game, son. Thank you. Cheers, Jeff. Here we go. The first game of the season. FIFA 16 looking sharp. I'm hanging for this game. De Gea staying at United. Absolutely pumped with that. Here we go, lads. Come on. Bastien Swine Steiger looking good in red, if I say so myself. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first game of the Premier League getting underway on that channel. Come on, Yano, I'd said. Let's go. Let's take it to him. Oh, no. Ericsson, watch him in the box. Watch Ericsson. He puts in a lovely ball. Harry Kane is the crossbar. Oh, my word, lads. Come on. We're at home for God's sake. Let's make a good impression. Here we go on the counter attack. Schweinsteiger, look at this. Schneiderlin, look at Mata. You got Juan. Oh, Juan Mata, get in on your left foot. Oh, Mata. I meant to cut inside, lad. Come on, Schwan. Ah, referee, that's weak. You're going to blow a foul for that. You're having a laugh, son. All right, get it out, get it out, get it out. Well done, Dave. Look at this. No one there. Just Rooney. That's a poor throw, Dave. Uh-oh. That's going to cost me, isn't it? That's going to cost me. Chadley. Harry Kane! Is it the post? Get it out. Smalling. Oh, my word. That was close. Memphis holds it up for Rooney. Lovely stuff. Rooney. Nice. Schneiderlin. Play him inside. Go. Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger. Oh, Bastion. I just had to knock the ball in front. But unfortunately, it is all Tottenham. I'm just struggling to create a chance. Here we go, Juan Mata. Oh, jeez, you can't get around these bloody defenders on World Class. They're a lot, lot harder than last season, I'll tell you that much. Here we go, Juan Mata. Juan Mata sees Rooney. Come on, Waza. Nice. Come on, Rooney. Use that strength. Rooney gets in behind. No, what happened there? The race. Ah, Waza. Oh, it's a poor touch. Herrera, cross it in. Look at that. Memphis, Memphis. Oh, Toby, old or wild. What a great clearance that was. Definitely the closest we have come to scoring today. Half time, there we go. First half, nil nil against Tottenham. And it's got to be said, I'm not even gonna not even gonna joke about this. I am absolutely struggling. FIFA 16 on world class. I don't know why Tottenham are dominating possession. We had a very good chance, but I've got to get used to the game. I'm not even gonna lie, it's very difficult. But hopefully in the second half, players are gonna get tired and we can capitalize. Hopefully Nick a goal and grab all three points. Right, we're unchanged for the second half. Same lineup, same formation. Hopefully, we can play a little bit better and keep a bit more of the ball. Come on. Let's go, United. Nice. Here we go. Schweinsteiger. Lovely. Playing Rooney. Rooney. Tell you what. Rooney, can you get there? He can. There's nobody in the box. Rooney. Back post, son. Schweinsteiger's in there. Bastian Schweinsteiger. I can see that. First goal of the career mode. Gets in, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Oh, Wayne Rooney, what a ball, son. With his left foot, it had to be said. Schweinsteiger attacking from the midfield. What a header. Hugo Lloris had no hope from a meter out. That's we take the lead 1 0. Have a look at this. He's Herrera. I tell you what, he's going to line one up and a Herrera over the bar. Had a bit of space. Thought it'd be a little bit cheeky, but didn't come off this time. Here he is, Anthony Martial making his Manchester United debut on the career mode. 20 minutes to go. Here he is. Come on, son. Hopefully he can do something special. All right, Memphis all on his own. 
Tell you what, have a look at that. Get your head up, son. Martial's going to get there. Didn't really want him. Play it off to Mata. Mata, give it to Martial. Over the top. Two heavy Juan Mata. I think he's a bit tired. Going to take him off. All right, lads, making some more subs. Bringing on Carrick and Ashley Young. All right, Ashley Young, fresh off the bench. Tell you what, gets around his opponent. Have a look at that. Cut inside. Come on, Ashley Young. Look at Martial. Oh, penalty. Yes, it's a penalty. Anthony Martial wins a penalty on his debut. All right, let's take another look at this. Martial goes to tap it in. And I'll tell you what, has to be said, it was a little harsh on Tottenham. I don't think that was a penalty. Rooney to open his goal-scoring account for the season. <sighs> Come on, Waza. Come on, Rooney. Oh, lovely penalty, son. 2-0 against Tottenham. All three points coming home. Get in, lads. Tell you what, that was a really good penalty in my opinion. So close to the roof netting. I think it actually did hit the roof netting. So close to the crossbar. Hugo Lloris would have been some save if he had to save that. But not to be 2-0. Gets in. There we go, lads. A full-time whistle goes. We get our first three points of the campaign. Our first three points for FIFA 16. Absolutely pleased with the performance from the lads. Let's go take a look at the match details. So for the man of the match, it goes to none other than Wayne Rooney. De Gea having a really good game. And Bastian Schweinsteiger with a 7.4 performance as well. So life is good at the minute for us. And when it comes to the match stats, we were a little bit behind on possession to Tottenham. We had some more shots. We had some more shots on target. We had two shots on target. We had two goals. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So, Curtis, your first game, three points. You must be pleased. Yeah, you know, uh, always when you get a result, all three points, and uh, you get a victory, you can't compl uh, complain too much, but uh, it must be said that we were a little bit rusty to start off with. Uh, first half, I don't think I was pleased with the football at all. We didn't have uh, much possession at all, but uh, it has to be said, in the second half, we came good and uh, grabbed all three points in the end, so I'm very pleased with the result in the end. So, Martial couldn't score his debut today, Curtis. You're disappointed. Yeah, well, Anthony Martial, you know, like I said in the uh, pre-game, um, he's had, what, limited, uh, he's been in the country two days, so unfortunately, um, you know, he didn't have much training with the lads, but as you've seen, he came off the bench, and yeah, like you say, he didn't score a goal, but he won us a penalty, which Wayne Rooney converted, and that's the reason why we won the game today, so I'm more than pleased with Anthony uh, Martial uh, in his efforts for today. So now with your first win under your belt, what have you got planned for the upcoming week? Well, we've got another hectic week this week. We've got a lot of training, a lot uh, more regimes this week. Uh, a lot of hard work to be done. But uh, next weekend, we're away to Aston Villa at Villa Park. So that's our aim for next week. And uh, hopefully we can grab all three points then. And then we're back again uh, against Newcastle United uh, at home in the Premier League as well. So uh, that's what we've got to look forward to. Thanks for talking to us today, Curtis. No worries. Thank you. What's going on, YouTube? Curtis, back here for the end of the video. Now, I just want to say a few things before I go away. Um, I'm sorry that this episode's only one game long. I've only got the EA yeah, access, and I'm only doing this on one account, so I hardly got any hours whatsoever. So, unfortunately, for the next few episodes, it's probably going to be, you know, two games at a time, or maybe one even. But I can promise you, when the full game of FIFA 16 comes out, you're going to be seeing three games per episode, so don't worry about that. And if you're enjoying the content, if you like the ideas, what I'm doing, you know, taking it to the next level, trying to do my best to entertain you guys, well, then please do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's really muchly appreciated. And if you like my content, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to follow me on any social media accounts, whether it be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, wherever, check the link in the description. You're going to see all my links there. But until next time, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Take care and peace.